Rock, paper, scissors, best two out of three. Loser jumps in and cleans it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> These are so <laughs> They've made a tool. Very crude. <laughs> Wait, do it again. Happy face. Morning. Hey, I've been up for a while. So today we are leaving Smuggler's Cove and we're going to, I think it's called Madeira Park or Wellburn Cove, which is in Pender Harbor. And uh, we just need to reprovision. We need to upload some episodes. So I think we can do that there. Yeah, it's been beautiful here. The people beside us stern anchored yesterday and it was probably something reminiscent of what we were. Yeah, close to what our first one was like, except they were a little, a little more crazy. People set their anchors. They don't. Or they don't set their anchors. They just drop them and it was weird. Anyways, we should have a good day today. We're finally leaving with enough death. Yeah, we're leaving with enough death with enough we're leaving with enough depth but it means we're going to be fighting a current so whatever it is what it is Well, the weather's a little bit different than what we're used to. Kind of cloudy. <laughs> and that is why. What? Why? What? What are you going to say? <laughs> that might uh, actually ruin the rest of our day. Uh, anyways, it's calm out. It's really mild, which is nice. We're fighting a bit of a current, but we knew we would be doing that. And um, it's not a bad day to motor. It's only a short motor. Today will be about two hours. So, our, when we pulled up anchor today, we noticed our knot meter stopped working. So I'm wondering if there's some debris stuck on it or something. So we'll probably have to do the old rock, paper, scissors, best two out of three. Loser jumps in and cleans it. Yeah. No. That's how you settle things. I don't want to jump in and clean it. Well, neither do I. Pender Harbor is a really cool place. Before European settlement, Pender Harbor was likely the largest settlement of the First Nations people on the BC coast. With a population of over 5,000 people, now it is a small community of 3,000, half of which are only seasonal residents. here. Coffee shop. <laughs> okay, this town is the cutest. I love it here. The 
sun's come out. It's lunchtime. They're making something that smells absolutely amazing in there. <laughs> so we have to get some food. There's a thrift store over there which I'd like to check out and see what these guys put in the thrift store. Oh my word. These are beautiful. Beautiful shade, hey? <laughs> these are so... <laughs> Those are beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, my darling. Oh, how cute are you? These are stunning. They look like they've all just freshly bloomed for when we're here. They probably did. Getting the illusion of being lost. We had to make a quick stop over at the boat number one to drop off the backpack which carried both computers and was extremely heavy um, and number two to change because it, the sun came out and it's really hot so we both got on our summer attire and we're gonna head back so and number three I needed to get the serial number for that. oh yeah so there's a marine place just off the shore and we're gonna see if they've got some parts for our outboard that stopped working so it'd be really nice to get that thing going. So, yes, we're off again. We spent the rest of the afternoon getting some work done and doing a little provision. Any gems in there? Thank you, Mary. So it's the May long weekend and we found out from, I can't remember which store we went into, but there's a big parade that comes through here tomorrow. So that's cool. We're going to come back for that and see what oop, all the festivities are about. Nice. So we just got in from town and luckily they had the parts that I think I need to fix the outboard, which like blows my mind because uh, this isn't a huge Place, so they don't have a ton of amenities but looks like the marine store is pretty well stocked and they're super helpful so it couldn't have happened in a better place I think but I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can figure out what went wrong and hopefully I can get it apart should be able to Hope so. so when we were in Falls Creek and the engine stopped running I think I had uh, my mixture was wrong and I had too much oil in it, which is why it stopped. But when we pulled up the, the leg, I noticed there was some oil dripping down it. Um, so it was leaking right from here and dripping down. This is what was in the bag. So I think the seal might just be gone and then I'll have to add some gas to my, to my mix and uh, thin it out a bit. But if I can get this sealed up, then I can get it in the water on the dinghy and start troubleshooting the other stuff. So, I've made a tool, very crude. <laughs> and hopefully this works, because you've been at this for works. hours. <laughs> yeah, it's taking me a long time to do this. Well, even just to get And this, this is version two, so. Well, this is more than version two, because at first was well, the... Well, first was the hammer. The hammer, then the screwdrivers, then the... <laughs> anyway. Is it actually turning? Yeah. No way. Boom. It's amazing what the right tool can do. Don't call me a tool. That's I did, offensive. I did not call you a tool. This is a seal right here that I'm going to replace. Just that little one. This one here, yeah. And then there's an O-ring that goes around here. 
Does it look like that was the issue? Can you even tell? I don't know, but when I took the prop off, there was oil right there. So there's definitely oil leaking out. Sure. What? Victory dance? Feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling great actually. Why? Well, it's back together. I got the seals. I made a tool. It's back together. I didn't break anything too badly. <laughs> We're barbecuing tonight. Yeah, so I want to get... <clears throat> I think I have leg oil. I'll be even happier if I go check my stock. And there's leg oil. Because that'll be amazing. Yeah. Apparently when Tiff was young, her youngest brother sneezed something similar to that. <laughs> Colton. Colton. That's what I hear. I wasn't part of the family. <laughs> yeah, he was quite the sneezer. Thanks for dinner. You're welcome. It's an overcast morning today. It didn't end up raining last night, but you can definitely tell it's humid. It's in the air, but we're rowing in for the parade. It was fun being here over the May long weekend and getting to see how the community celebrates. According to Wikipedia, Pender Harbor has the second oldest May Day celebration in BC. Bagpipe lessons going on up there, and they're sending us off back to back to Xanadu. Wait, do it again. <laughs> Just so much. <laughs> mm. It's crazy. It's such a change in like life. <sighs> Tiff right now is thinking through and. Really processing the royal wedding. <laughs> no. It's really impacted her. No, Megan's not. change in lifestyle. It'd be crazy. It would be crazy. Anyways, we had a good little time at this little market thing, but the food was so expensive, like fair food. I think it's typical fair food prices. Really? I think so, but it was just like six dollars for a hot dog. Yeah, the first place we went was six dollars for a hot dog. Burgers were all over eight dollars for burger. burger. On but we finally settled on this one place because they had the cheapest hot dogs, and it was just like a typical store-bought hot dog, cut in half, like warmed on the barbecue, on a Wonder Bread bun, and it took them over half an hour. I think it probably was closer to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. 45 minutes to an hour from the time we paid, we stood there and waited for like the worst hot dog. We're just more frustrated and over hungry at Yeah, that point. so we're getting hungry, more and more hungry and it's like, okay, okay. And we're there with everybody else who's in line before and after us. Yeah, it was crazy. brutal. So don't get the fair food when you come here. Bring. Bring your own snacks. <laughs> or just pay for the expensive hot dogs that'll be ready in time. So Lyndon and I were just sitting in the cockpit here doing some work and talking. And then these two guys motored by on a wooden, like an oversized wooden pallet. They're sitting on lawn chairs with a cooler. And like they cruise right past our boat, we waved. They get right out in front of our boat, well probably like 50 feet. And like, 
it sounded like their engine just dropped off of the barge and I'm pretty sure it just detached itself and fell. So Lyndon paddled over, our outboard isn't working, so we just paddled over and uh, he's rowing them to shore. <laughs> Lyndon's gonna be so tired. They have a dog too. So it happened. They lost the motor. For real? It just fell off. Oh, it feels so bad for them and they're so like distraught. And like the one guy. I mean it's probably his dad's fishing motor or something. <laughs> and it's just like Oh no. Oh, it's so funny. How? Oh, oh. But I, I do feel bad for them. Yeah. That was quite a row. Yeah, Did you I watch? Yeah. You towed it. I, I towed them in. Yeah, they're like. Devastated. <laughs> what started as a fantastic. Yeah, they were looking pretty cocky as yeah, they came like, they by. Pretty happy. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Okay, you're gonna take it out for a burn. See if it's fixed. Uh oh. <laughs> it does not plane very well. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't fail again. And then he's all the way out there. But at least he has paddles this time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. We post a new episode every Wednesday. Thanks to all our patrons who help support this adventure. If you'd like to become one, head over to our Patreon page to learn a little bit more about us and how you can support the adventure. Have a great week, guys.